Brock here with Rock Hill Farms and I'm out here today to make an upgrade on my Curtis cab and you know I've been using this cab for I don't know, six months or more now it's been more than that actually and I put a lot of hours on it and I feel like I'm also in a position to finally give a review on my complete thoughts on this cab so first I'll tell you about the upgrade I'm doing I've got two of these fans right here that I'm going to install in the cab. These fans are from Curtis. They're set up to go into the um, auxiliary wiring harness up at the top so that I can operate both fans off one switch if I want. And it's been in the 90s every day this week. And I'm out here working every day with the tractor in this heat. And that's one of the main things that's going to come up in a review. Because when I first thought about getting this cab, I had two immediate concerns. Number one is the visibility. Is it going to make it harder to get jobs done because you lose that little blind spot in this corner? And then the second concern was a cab without an air conditioner sounds miserable, honestly. It just sounds insufferable. But... I really haven't found that to be the case. I've been out here working in this heat and you've got a couple advantages that I wasn't really thinking about because when you're on the tractor, you're usually moving and you have shade. So if you're in the shade and you've got this breeze in your face, it's really not bad at all. And I like working outdoors. That's why I spend so much of my life doing it. And I'm continuously looking for opportunities and projects that keep me working outdoors. I just think it's a good, relaxing, low-stress lifestyle. I find this to be much more comfortable than it was when I had the open station. Because then you had the sun baking on you. But now I'm going to add two of these small but high-powered fans right next to me. And I really think it's going to be pretty comfortable at that point. Now, in the other regard, as far as visibility, it's just something I never even think about. The first two weeks I had it, I felt awkward or like, what if there's something there? But in all honesty, you know your surroundings better than that, and you're not constantly on the verge of running into something if you don't look back. Before you start a task, you know what's around you, and all you have to do to see there is lean a little bit. Or if you've got the doors on, I've got rear view mirrors. I've even got a set of rear view mirrors I could put on right now. But I don't feel that I need them. It's something extra that sticks out the side and I can see just fine. I've not once backed into something because I didn't have visibility. I think that adding the cab to this has transformed it and made it a much more comfortable machine to operate. I thought I might feel cramped, I don't. Now, if it's raining a little bit and I'm in the middle of something, I don't have to stop. If I come outside and it's really cold in the morning or like I said, it's been raining, I can still get work done. I'm cooler in the heat. I'm warmer when it's cold. I've got protection from stuff flying in my face. If it's windy out, a lot of that gets deflected off. Overall, it's been a massive improvement having this cab on here. And I would like it with any of the door options. I've tried all three door options. I think it's close, but I think I prefer the Advantage cab doors, but the Plus cab doors are almost as nice because they're lighter weight and you've got visibility down to the floor and it's a less expensive option. And then the base cab doors are a good lower budget option. But really for what this cab cost, I think it's a phenomenal value. And I never sit around and think, man, I wish I had an air conditioner. Or I'd like to trade this in for a bigger tractor with a factory cab and an air conditioner. Honestly, if I bought a new tractor today, I don't think I would get it with a factory cab and the AC. It's just a huge expense. And I kind of like being connected to the elements in spring, summer, and fall and having those doors off. But that's just personal preference. Anyway, let's go ahead and get these fans installed. I've been out mowing yards for other people today. I did three yards this morning, and now 
We're getting ready to go to my son's baseball game. I got about an hour to see if I can get these mounted. And if I don't have time to get the wiring all connected, I may have to do it late tonight up in the shop. But let's get going. You know, as I talk about the cab, you may not be familiar with all the features. So I've done several videos on this and went over, I did a full install, which is about an hour long video. And you really got to see how the thing is made, you know, how it's reinforced and everything about it in that video. And then I did other videos just on specific features and what I like about it. But if you haven't seen that video, go back and check it out. I won't go over everything right now, but for the price of this cab, You've got a heater and a windshield wiper and an auxiliary control box. You've got extra lights up here. You really are getting a lot of features for what this cost. So in a review, I'm supposed to tell you the pros and the cons. Well, I can't really think of any cons. There's nothing about this that's been disappointing or frustrating to me. Like, I love my tractor, but even with the tractor, there are some things that I think they could have done better. But with the cab, I don't have any negative things to say about it. It's exactly what it's supposed to be. It's well built and it does the job. Um, if I have one negative, it's it took me a little bit of finicking each time I switch between the different doors. Once you get the hang of it, it's not bad. But when you first go to put the door closing latches on, you might have a little hard time with them not closing or not closing the way you want them to or not sealing well enough. But if you just are patient and get these adjusted within the slot just right, they'll latch fine. And when I say there's nothing negative about this cab, it's not to say it's the nicest cab out there. The factory cabs have some nicer features than this, but they're over twice the price. So you, you re I really don't like to make a comparison between a $3,000 product and an $8,000 product. It's not apples to apples. So I'm kind of thinking, I never go in and out this door, so I'm kind of thinking about putting both fans on this side. If I put it like that, I can aim it down. I can aim them both right at my face. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put both fans right here. And that allows me to connect both conduits to this existing wire loom. I can put both of the new wire looms on that one and have them all routed together. So I think that's what I'll do. All I've got to do is run in these self-tapping screws and then I'll be ready to go up and start on the wiring. That is awesome that they've got a nice ability to swivel, turn them to different locations. All right, so I ran both sets of wiring through the wire loom. Then we just plug in these bullet connectors. I think I'll go ahead and take this right here and zip tie it to the base of the fan so that it won't get pulled out. Take that extra slack and just tie it up right here. Then I've already got this wiring loom across here, so I'm gonna zip tie the two new looms both to that one. All right, so basically I had Jimmy do this and I can't remember how it's set up. I don't know if there's a power wire that runs up to this and then I just hook the positive and the negative to the back of it and I'm done or if I have to run a power wire up to the battery for each thing. It seems like there should be a hot wire on the back of this. So it looks like the way this is set up is all of our black wires go to one screw here. 
and then our hot wire goes to the switch that we want to put it on. And oh yeah, that's nice right there. Got that one blowing on my back now, and this one on my face. I don't want it blowing on my face. Got them both blowing on my back or down at my legs. And probably, mostly right there. We've got a high. There's low, off, and high. I'll probably keep both fans on high all the time. And if I want them off, I'll just turn them off here. All right, well, I'm going to call that a successful project. I love my Curtis cab. I think it's fantastic. It's great in the summer. It's going to be even better in the winter. And I'm glad to get these fans up. Even though the heat wasn't bothering me too much, it's definitely going to be nicer with a couple fans on. So I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. Just a minute, you'll see links on the screen to a couple more of our videos. And I'll see you next time.